Ah, hello, welcome back to Serious About Salvage, another video on the channel. So today we're going to continue with the Volkswagen Up and after this video we should be done with this car because I've got everything that we need to put this back together. We've got the replacement door, we've got a wing, complete strut with hub and uh, inner rack end. So hopefully, like I said after this video, we'll be done and this will be gone. So let's dive in, let's crack on and get this, this car finished. Right, so, plan of action. What I'm thinking is, we'll start with the door because the door has to be aligned to match the rear quarter. And then obviously the wing needs to be aligned to match the door. That's how I think. So I'm gonna start with the door. And these are our parts here. We've got a complete door. Just need to swap over the wing mirror. And it needs a clean, obviously, but it's the right colour. We have um, a wing, again, in colour. Needs a good clean. And it came with the bracket as well. And remember, that's, that's a bit, bit bent on ours. Here it is, that bracket, a bit bent. And this is our complete strut and hub. So it came with disc, caliper, pads, everything there. Not too sure how much of that stuff I'm going to use, except obviously we're going to use the strut on the hub. Um, we'll see as we, as we go along with that what we're going to use. Whatever's the best out of the two, we will use. So, there's nothing else to it. Let's just get this door off and swap it over. We're going to have to swap the door lock and the wing mirror on this door. Other than that, it should be um, just a straight swap. Uh, so as always, if you like these videos, do, do not, do, do, do consider <laughs> uh, subscribing to the channel so then you're notified of all future videos. Let's get going. making some progress that is the replacement door on and um, looking good I haven't done the wing mirror because it's easier to be able to get inside when it's off not around the ramp should we say uh, but we've got so the door gets fine and I'm um, obviously I'm going to polish this up yet and see how we look so next up we're going to do the strut on the hub whilst the wing is off, it's going to make much more sense. And I've decided that I'm going to stay with our original caliper because we know it's good. There's no reason to change it and it means we don't have to disconnect the brake line. So we'll take caliper off, strap that up somewhere. We're going to have to undo the top of the, the um, drop link. We're going to change the inner rack end whilst we're at it. Um, and we need to keep the outer rack end because that's not on the new one. And then it's a case of cracking that off and um, splitting the bottom ball joint as well. And then hopefully get it out. It's only one bolt in the top, should be easy enough that. Should come out in one piece and then put the new one back in, in one piece as well. Hopefully, we'll see how we get on.
Okay, the strut's out. Strut and hub is out. Uh, so nothing really that difficult. It was a bit tricky getting the end of the shaft out because it was pretty much, you know, welded into the hub. Um, so that took some knocking out. The only other difficult part is top of the strut. You got a 21 mil bolt and um, with strut tops, you can't just use a spanner because it just spins the strut. Um, you've got to, you got to use a buzz gun. Uh, so to get vertically down on it, I had to take the scuttle panel out, which meant taking the wipers off. And um, anyone who's removed wiper arms will know they can be a bit of a swine. I do have a little tool, but it didn't reach fully. So the Perseverance got them off in the end. So these are the, the two struts now. The old one is this one on the right. And that's the new one. And I can't really work out if there was anything wrong with it or not. Can't tell. It's possible the bottom of the strut is just slightly bent inside here. Yeah, perhaps. Oh well, we've, we're doing it anyway. So let's get that new second hand one in. Uh, we'll change caliper off when it's in place and we'll take off the old uh, drop link. Be easier when it's you know fixed to something solid. So just reverse procedure now, get it back in, and we can get on with the wing then. We got there in the end. That was an absolute nightmare getting that strut and hub in. Getting some of the nuts off was, was, was ridiculous. Um, the old drop link, trying to get that nut off, the whole thing was spinning, that took forever. I managed to snap one of the threads on the, on the bottom ball joint. So I had to swap that out then, which again, getting the nut off was an absolute nightmare. But it's all in. Inner rack ends in, everything's tight, calipers on, you know, like I said, everything, everything's tight, so everything's done there. Got it somewhere near with the tracking, but once the wheel's on, I'll do a bit more. That disc is kind of facing forwards, and this wheel is um, John Neera's, damn it. So, but it's not far off there, but like I said, once the wheel's on, we'll see a bit better. Uh, now, that's took me a lot longer than I expected, so I'm going to go on for tea now, and I'm going to continue this in the morning, but I'll, it'll still be in this video. Now, don't worry, it's not taken me all day to do this. I, um, I only started about two, and that's because I had a car collection today. And uh, I'll give you a sneak peek. This is all you're getting, though. Ta -da. So yeah, uh, I was hoping to get this off the ramp tonight, out the way, to get that in. Uh, but it can wait. Uh, and yeah, I've got a lot of tidying up to do. But I take no time in the morning now to finish this off. Right, I will catch you um, in the morning uh, for you in a moment. Okay, and um, just like that, it is now the next day so let's just get on get this thing finished and um out the door shall we say
Okay, there we go. So we're pretty much done now with this car. What I have decided with this um, draw a bit of damage is I am going to get the Dent Master out and, and uh, see how good he can get it. And we're obviously going to have to touch up that line, uh, if you can see it on camera. But it looks far better just getting the black marks off. So they come off no issue. They've come off the front bumper. And yeah, it looks a nice little car. <coughs> now this car is already sold. I have had a few of you asking about it, but unfortunately it is already sold to someone local. So um, I'll have a talk to somebody, it's up to them whether they want to do the um, Dent Master themselves or they want me to get it sorted out. And we'll go from there. Um, so I will tell you quickly money wise for this car. I paid, um, what was it? It pretty much smack on £2,000, including the fees from um, from auction. I gave 110 for the door, and I gave um, 80 for the front wing, 120 for the strut and hub. And then there was the inner rack end, which was uh, 20 quid, something like that, £25, so... 80, 1 to 200, 310, 320, £335 I've spent on this car. So it stands me at £2,335. Obviously, you've got to include uh, £40 to go and collect it. So, uh, £2,370, £2, Just call it two four, And then, obviously, um, if you want to know in terms of labour... I reckon I've got a day of labour in it, spread over a couple of days. Uh, so £2,400 for 15 plate with 27,000 miles on it. It's not a lot of money, is it? It's turned out to be a good car. Still got, I think, five months MOT, so I'm not going to bother with that. Um, so yeah, good car. Good, good roll around little car. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed this little mini series on this Volkswagen Up. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. If you do like them, please do consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Thank you. Goodbye.